All right, welcome everybody, and thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the mission to remember the fallen, honor those who serve us, serve our, uh, honor those who serve and their families, and here to teach the next generation the value of freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your hands over your heart. Color guard, attention. Present the colors of the United States of America. Present arms. Follow me in the pl Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, arms. So we ask to start to the event that we would all join me in a moment of silence to remember the fallen, prisoners of war, those missing in action, and honor those who have served and are serving this great nation's armed services. So this year across the country, at more than 2,700 participating locations just like this one, there are millions of Americans gathering as one nation to remember, honor, and teach. We are all proud to be Americans that live in a free society made up of many people from all walks of life. The freedoms that we enjoy today have not come without a price. Lying here before us and around us and in cemeteries throughout this nation are men and women who gave their lives so that we can live in freedom without fear. We can worship as we see fit. We can raise our children to believe as we do. We are free to vote for the leaders of our choosing. And we have the right to succeed and the right to fail at whatever endeavor we wish to pursue. The United States of America was founded on the ideals of freedom, justice, and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom to the world. We thank those who gave their lives to keep us free, and we shall not forget. We shall remember. Today, more than ever, we reflect on our nation's veterans and active duty service members who have had and continue to fight to protect the innocent and oppressed. This nation has always been the first to stand up for the freedom of people from around the world. Many of you here today have answered the call and served your country well. For this, we say thank you, and we are honored to know you. There are many men and women serving today in all branches of the military here at home and in places far away that most of us have never heard of. These men and women are part of the best trained, best equipped force in the world. We honor them and their families for the sacrifices they make each year, each day to keep our country safe from terrorism, hatred and injustice. This year we have added an additional ceremonial wreath to honor the men and women currently serving in the U.S. Space Force along with those veterans who have served in roles helping to secure our national interests in space. So in quoting our 40th United States President Ronald Reagan, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on from, for them to do the same. 
or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States when men were free. So today we show a united front of gratitude and respect across the United States of America as we remember the fallen, honor those who serve and their families, and teach the next generation the value of freedom. So now I will ask Sergeant Bill Cagle to post the veterans wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Army. And now Corporal Sterling Truex will post a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Marine Corps. Now Petty Officer Second Class Mike Griffiths will post a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Navy. And now Master Sergeant Ben Salinas will post a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Air Force. And now Petty Officer Second Class Lucas Manning will post a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Coast Guard. And now Miles Cicchelli will post a veteran's wreath in honor of those who are serving in the United States Space Force. And now Sarah E. Grover will post a veteran's wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Merchant Marines. And now Anna Lee Johnson will post a veteran's wreath in honor of the 93,129 United States servicemen from all branches of the service who were last known status was either prisoner of war or missing in action. These individuals have never returned to their families and homes and we shall not forget you. And now Commander Becky Nepper will post a veteran's wreath of women who have served and are serving in all branches of our nation's armed forces.
So as we move forward with the rest of the ceremony, we encourage every volunteer here today who places a wreath in honor of a veteran to say that veteran's name aloud and take a moment to thank them for their service to our country. It's a small act that goes a long way towards keeping the memory of our veterans alive. So just remember that we are not here today to decorate this monument. We are here to remember not their deaths, but their lives. Each wreath is a gift of appreciation from a grateful American. These live balsam fir wreaths symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in our armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices every day on their behalf. To our children, we want you to understand that the freedoms you enjoy today have not been free, but have come at the cost that someday you may have to pay yourself. So as a nation, standing together, we can defeat terrorism, hatred, and injustice. So thanks to our veterans, we have the freedom to do just that. Color Guard, attention. Retire the colors of the United States of America. Present arms. Sorry, I was looking at everyone's faces and you're <laughs> bringing out the emotions. So real quick, I just want to give special thanks before we get to our volunteer portion. Um, special thanks to the American Heritage Girls Troop UT 3125, Trail Life USA Troop UT 1017 for putting in the work to get sponsorship for these wreaths today. Also want to give a special thanks to the American Legion Post 68 for their participation and contribution to this ceremony. A, se a special thank you to the Spanish Fork Cemetery crew who were more than gracious to make this happen today and give us the accommodations that we have. And then to all of our local community members who have donated, participated, or taken part in this ceremony today. We hope to have this ceremony grow each year and get the community more involved. So with that being said, that concludes the ceremony. Anyone who is willing to stay to volunteer, if you'd gather around here for special instructions, and with that I say thank you to everybody. <laughs> 